Hey guys, welcome back. We're halfway through the alphabet series. Our time flies just like normal. If you're not learning theory or you don't need new briefs, I have another video, the best way to organize spices on my personal channel. Go ahead and check that out in the description box if you need that. And we're going to get right to this, learning five keys. I'm going to try to pick up the pace a little bit, challenge you a little bit more. Just hold on to your hats. Okay, so the first uh, letter we're going to learn is Q, which is KW, initial Q. And on your cheat sheet, you will see it equals request. And if you don't have a cheat sheet, it's also in the description box, the link that you can go to to print that out. So let's go on to the second key, which is V, and that is SR, initial SR, and that is have on your cheat sheet. W is with, very common, and W is self-explanatory, it's just W. U is the next key, and that is also self-explanatory, and it is the word U. Hit that a couple times, then we have final R. And for me, final R is R in phrases, but I can also use it as R by itself. I have two R's, two ways to write R's, but every time you hear the word R, you're going to write it like that until we learn the other way. So let's go through the words that we just learned and then do some sentences. Request, have, with, you, R. Now that we learned final R, we can add an ER so we can do words like blogger and I will give you a few words to practice with coming up. You said, he said, to the, in the, push yourself, with the, will the, at the, Requesting, many, go, going on, going to, going to the, jogging, do it two ways, jogger, two strokes, blog, HR, remember that shape every time you hear the L. Blogging, blogger, in, on, for, about, did, if. If your arms are feeling a little tired, that's normal. It shouldn't be a sharp pain, it should just be slow throb, which is completely normal because you don't normally use these muscles in any other thing, even typing on the QWERTY. And eventually your muscles will build up the longer jobs that you do when you become a court reporter and you'll be able to write for two hours without any pain. I write about three hours straight with no breaks. I still feel a little bit of, of throbbing in my arms, but most court reporters can write two hours no problem without any sort of pain regularly every day. But that takes practice, endurance, and you're not going to get that in school because it's hard to force yourself to just write for two straight hours. Uh, when you're getting paid, that's a lot easier to do. So don't worry about it. Just keep with it. Judge requested me to jog. Make sure you get the period on that. He said, go to the dog. When you get your punctuation in now as best as possible, when it's nice and slow. Fat thoughts are bad. Bladder in the bog. Batting to Ned at the mat. You said to me, Doc. You are with many requests. You have me. If he, if you, if they, they is final TD in all phrases. If they, will they, go, 
to the in the four. You can write two fours now. You can write regular four and the number four. F O U R. And then we are writing it that way to resolve the conflict, not because that is the O U sound. O U sound is out. Make sure you go over this video a couple of times. Make sure you practice the words that can you trouble and write them in your notebook, the words and the phrases that you can't remember or that you just have a hard time stroking because you hate that stroke. Only write the ones you struggle with. So go ahead and practice those a couple of times. Try to do it once a day if you can, even if it's just five minutes. Five minutes counts. In court prank school, every little bit counts. Even if you're tired, just do five minutes and you will see big improvements. So I'll see you in the next video. Keep up the good work.